Hey guys, I'm Myra and today we're making a two ingredient fudge and yes, it's only two ingredients. For the two ingredients, we have our almond butter, which I picked up at a local store. And we have our no sugar added chocolate chips. These are from Chalk Zero. I will leave these linked in the description below. Uh, you do get a 10% discount using Low Carb Love at checkout. So take advantage of that. But we're gonna get right into it, okay? So I've already um, portioned everything out. We have our milk chocolate chips and our almond butter. So I'm gonna use parchment paper because of course I don't want things getting stuck onto the, onto the glass you know, baking dish. I put a little bit of um, avocado oil or any oil just to kind of help the parchment paper stick. Because if not, that usually kind of comes up. So the oil helps it um, stick onto the glass or even like whatever you're using, it'll help. Okay, so our baking dish is lined with parchment and now let's move on to actually making our fudge. So what we're gonna do first is just melt our chocolate chips and chocolate chips are really sensitive, so you don't wanna heat them up um, for too long at one time. I'm actually gonna do like 20 second increments um, because if you burn your chocolate, it's done and you literally, it all goes to waste and you have to start all over again, okay? So um, let's go ahead and do this and I'll show you what the consistency should look like. Okay, so this is at 30 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in for another 30 seconds, and that should be good. Just wanted to show you guys how you need to, I can't stress enough how you have to do it in um, shorter time increments because you don't wanna ruin your chocolate. So I said I was gonna put it back in for, for 30 seconds, but it only needed 20 seconds. I'm so glad I checked it. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour in our almond butter. We're getting all of our almond butter right into our melted chocolate. And now we're gonna go ahead and stir. So it actually just starts melting right into the chocolate. You can see here. Okay, so now our mixture's done. We're gonna put it to the side and pour it into our baking dish. Look at this beautiful consistency. Gosh. Okay, so now we're gonna tap our baking dish just to get rid of all the air bubbles. So by getting rid of all the air bubbles, your fudge is just gonna come out more dense. So you don't have to do it, but you know, it's just recommended. So now we're gonna go ahead and place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna show you the texture when it's all done. All right guys, so our fudge is all set. I actually let this set for a little over 30 minutes. Look at this beauty. See what it looks like. Wow, two ingredient fudge, hello. Wow, fudge, I mean it is real fudge. Perfect, is that good? Don't be All right guys, so take a look at this texture. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right guys, so we're just gonna get right into it. I'm so excited, cannot wait for the taste test. Creamy, smooth, chocolatey, velvety. Mmm. All right, guys. So I hope you really enjoyed this super simple, easy recipe. Um, a two ingredient fudge is great for dessert, you can gift it to people, for parties. I mean, no one is gonna turn it down. It tastes absolutely delicious. And the fact that this is no sugar added makes it only that much better. And for the recipe, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you really like this video, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle and that you know would just love all these recipes. Guys, thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.